what is up guys welcome back to another video and today this video is going to be a little bit different than usual usually you see me flying and racing and things like this and today we are going to review the new flight controller from white noise fpv this flight controller it's not something you will usually will see and on this flight controller you can mount your TBS Unify 5V and your Unify receiver on top of your flight controller which kind of make everything look really really clean so I think we should open it and let's see how this thing looks because I heard a really good things about this flight controller and I really want to put my hands on one of these and yeah oh my god Okay, I guess I just cut, cut it over here. Let's put this aside over there. And take a look at this flight controller. Let's focus that. Okay, great. So, this is the flight controller. Over here, we are going to put uh, the TBS Unify. As you can see, it's written on the board and over here, the receiver. By the way, you can mount here your XM Plus. It work just fine as long as you can mount your um, TBS Unify Crossfire Nano over there. And, and over here you can connect your... Um, the, these are the ports for the Unify 5V. Uh, and you also can mount over here uh, the Unify Nano, which you, it's, it's really small. It's something like this. It's really small. But if you buy this um, Unify TBS Nano thing, you get this PCB and you can easily mount it on this board. So if you want to get this, you can and you can mount it over here. So keep that in mind. So basically over here there's nothing going on except you got your USB uh, port and your, um, your port for your ESC cables and things like this. Over here you got other two ports which I don't really know. I think it's a five. Yes, it's a five volt DC uh, outputs for everything you want. Like if you want to uh, use it for our uh, for LEDs or whatever you want, you can. And as well as over here you got some other ports for other voltages. On this side, pretty much it's going on. It's pretty much everything. You got your OSD chip, your um, F4 processor, your MPU6000 uh, uh, gyro, and your 5V regulator, and everything else. So, yeah, it's pretty much just a flight controller. Other stuff I forgot to mention about all these components over here, specifically this one. Uh, this flight controller, for those of you who really like, uh, black box configuring configurator or things as such you got here 128 megabytes of flash i think it's more than enough than you will ever need um, and you don't need uh, any sd card or risk to lose your sd card anymore because you can save everything right inside this chip um, another feature of this flight controller if you going to use any any crossfire um, receiver you need to bridge this uh, the first uh, pad from the end to the middle one and if you are if you are going to use an going to use effort sky you need to bridge the from the pad that near to the y to the middle one and there is a 5 volt you can you you can turn to the 5 volt or 3 volt 2.3 if you want if you really want to use spectrum receivers you can just bridge this one from the tree to the middle and the same from the five to the middle and what's really special about this one it's the real pit feature you just can um, do some configurating with the real pit chip you just need you just can connect it to these pads and you are ready to go with with nothing you just need to set up a switch to this and that's it this is what special about this flight controller and basically you can use the real pit at any flight controller you want but this one specifically you got a 
specific pads for the real pit. Another feature for this one, it's this one, you can use your, if you really want to use your OSD, um, OSD, um, sorry, <laughs> the OSD configurator from your goggles on your OSD screen, um, you can, you need just to bridge the FC to the middle one, and if you want to use the, uh, um, the OSD feature from your flight from your controller radio you just need to bridge the RX to the middle one it's really really simple I think it's a really great file controller it's the go-to I think for today instead of using these uh, wires and everything will look so so trashy and you, you know what I mean you just use these pins over here you slide these pins inside these holes like this and you mount your um, crossfire receiver over there um, by the way this this might not sit really really well over there so I'm going to put over under there some double sticky tape just to give it some support under this board this little board and it won't move as well as over here I want to soft mount the Unify that won't make any noise to the gyro over there. By the way, I forgot to mention that they are already include everything you need to mount it, as well as these uh, rubber gummies over here. Put this because these are not just any rubber gummies uh, that you can buy or find at any place on the web. These are specifically designed by uh, Kevin Lee, which the guy who makes this flight controller. These these rubber gummies are can mount easily, and you can see the weird look that they got. Like over here, it's longer than this side. And let me show you that because this is really really cool, and I really like that. Okay, so there is the flight controller with the rubber gummies, as you can see they are much longer over here as I said before and there is the Icon 32 bit um, I really recommend this ESC, it's a really awesome ESC, I really love it um, I leave all of the link for all of these down below if you want to check it, check it out and, and the reason I really like that, it's that reason it makes everything so low profile and really easy to mount as long as they include these cables that you can easily take it from here from this side to this connector and just connect your ESC board to your flight controller without any effort or any modification sorry uh, and without any modification with these connectors because everything just go right right away inside without anything like look at this it's it's almost perfect so let me solder this this unify and the crossfire to this flight controller and we'll be right back by the way i forgot to mention that except these pins that sorry for the focus except these pins you have over here we got this uh, pad over there and this one over here which just connect the ground this one is the ground and this one it's the 5 volt as long as this 5 volt and this one is ground i think i i'm not sure it's a 5 volt but i'm pretty sure that that one is the ground if i'm not mistaken but i know we got this pad and this pad and they are connecting over from here one is from here and the other one it's right over here that gold pad at the side over there so this one going to s oops sorry it's the opposite direction so this one is going to sit just like this as i tell you as i told you and there is the other pad over there and this one over here okay guys so basically i soldered up everything and this is how it looks like let me show you the solder I've done over there. So I don't know if you can see that, but right under the uh, crossfire receiver, 
there is a four solder for the unify and there is one over here over here one second yes and right and another one right over there um, basically I understood what that pad is and uh, it's the pad for this camera signal which came from the camera basically if you want to use your other ports you still can do that uh, if you would um, this is how I solder the U the sorry the crossfire there's so many names over here sorry about that um, I solder the pins from the other side from the flight controller side and all of the components you need to really be careful not to move anything or touch anything with your soldering iron and you can probably damage something if you bridge one of these capacitors or anything over here so really be careful when you do that and right over here I, as I told you I'm going to put a double sticky tape for keep it, keeping it in place and from wobbling and everything like this and as long as the cable that connects from the uh, ESC to the flight controller looking very very clean I have to say like look at this it's really really clean no wires really good really good looking I have to say this is the Unify Nano and this is the PCD that came with it you just need to solder over this pad and these two pads and there is another one right over there it's a really small I don't know if you can see it refocus that all right you, I hope you can see it but yeah so you need to solder all of these all of these pads to this PCB these two this one and you get this little button which really really makes it so comfortable to work with this uh, VTX as long as that cool antenna with the TBS flag I really like it this is it pretty much I hope you enjoy my video if you like my video hit the like subscribe give me some support by the way I'm going to leave down below uh, the link for this flight controller and for the whole pack and sorry and for the whole package over here uh, there is a link down below you can check this out and as well as um, um, five percent off on this flight controller if you want to buy it make sure you use that um, that coupon so that's it for today so i hope to see you next time see ya bye